in Orchestraville. Orchestraville? Where's that? You change, you change four score and seven to, to 87? Oh, oh that view is tremendous. Blue A landing was made this morning on the coast of France by troops of the Allied Expeditionary Force. I don't blame them for dyeing your hair, I said, but they waited too long to embalm it. Time now for spinning my dad's vinyl. Here with all his skips, scratches, and pops is my dad, Frank Beccarello. Thanks, sweetie, and thank you for tuning into episode 70 of Spinning My Dad's Vinyl. Well, you would think that polka music would be out of place in an Italian household, but not ours. It was one of the dances my parents loved to do, and one I would even attempt at the right wedding. It was the music my grandmother and one of her sisters loved to play on the organ. And this kind of polka has Cleveland written all over it. So, get ready for some beer drinking and skirt twirling with Volume 70, Seven Decades of the Polka King. Lives are full and free When people dance so merrily Our faces shine with glee When we hear songs of happiness And shouts of E-I-O Long live our brothers Long live our sisters She really, she be Brothers and sisters gather round Let's hold hand in hand Love embraces all the world And blesses every land Let's keep on singing songs of joy And shouts of E-I-O Long live our brothers, long live our sisters Gibele, Gibele Gibele, bracha, Gibele, sestre Gibele, Gibele Zivili Brace, Zivili Sestra. Long live the brothers, long live the sisters. Written by Johnny Krasancic. Okay, why this album? Well, first, I liked how this, all the sevens lined up. Second, I used Frank's copy of Dance Little Bird as my entire polka collection needed for any wedding I ever DJed. But mostly, 
It has to do with one of the shows I was connected to at the first station I worked for, WBBG in Cleveland. I had attended the Ohio School of Broadcast Technique, and during my admission interview, I was asked, what type of music station do I not want to end up at? My answer was opera and polka. Well, little did I realize that not even a year later, I would end up being the engineer and fill-in host for the most popular polka show on the radio in Cleveland and maybe the nation, the Paul Wilcox Polka Nightcap Show. Paul also had an extremely popular weekly TV show called Polka Varieties. The show aired on Sunday afternoons on Cleveland's ABC affiliate and eventually was syndicated on stations across the country from 1956 to 1983, highlighting both local and national polka acts. Frank Yankovic was the original band leader and host of the show before Wilcox, a sports newscaster, took the helm. And I'll be using my interesting side note to tell you a story of how generous Paul was. But all this leads me to say is, believe it or not, Cleveland is a polka town. I'm packing up my things, I'll soon be leaving. I'm going to polka town. It was there I met a girl one evening. Now I'm Ohio bound. Our wedding bells will ring out in Cleveland. That's the place where I intend to settle down. And listen to the rhythm of the polka in Cleveland, the polka town. Cleveland, a polka town, written by William Lausch. Okay, time to learn about the album I chose for this episode. Frank Yankovic, 70 Years of Hits. It's on the Smash Records label, number 8300241M1. That's a kind of long one. It's on a vinyl LP album format. It was a promo, and it is stereo. It was released in the U.S. in 1985. Its genre is folk world and country, and its style is polka. Now, we will hear seven of the ten songs on this album, keeping with the theme of sevens. Now, I will read an edited version of the liner notes written by Cleveland Plain Dealer columnist Bob Dolgan, who was also the author of The Polka King, Yankovic's Life Story. Anybody who was there will never forget it. It was Frankie Yankovic, America's polka king, giving a vintage performance. It happened a couple of years ago at the SNPJ campsite in Enon Valley, PA. Yankovic was scheduled to perform at 5 p.m. on a hot summer Sunday. The outdoor pavilion was packed with about 600 people standing hip to hip, anxiously awaiting the king's arrival. Yankovic wore Bermuda shorts and a sleeveless undershirt in the heat, contrasting sharply to those musicians who put on tuxedos to impress the public. The throng watched quietly as Yankovic, the old handyman and electrician, carefully went through the exacting job of arranging the speakers and amplifiers. It took about 20 minutes. 
The people behaved as though they were friends of Yankovic, as though they had known him all their lives. This is an advantage he had over other entertainers. He had been around for so long and so many people have heard his music that they feel they know him even if they have never met him. A man in the crowd called out, Hey, Frankie, have a beer. Yankovic jovially took a swallow of the beer. Without a word of introduction, Yankovic and his band began playing and singing. Yankovic sang every polka and waltz he could think of in a gigantic nonstop medley that lasted a full 30 minutes. The audience went wild with delight. After about 15 minutes, they joined in and started singing with Yankovic. It became a great big love-in. It was one of the most enjoyable performances I have ever seen anywhere. That's the way it has been with Yankovic for 54 years. He is the foremost man in polka history. Nobody is close to him. There are many fine polka musicians and they have their local followings. Only Yankovic is known coast to coast. Other bands are happy when they make records that sell 5,000 copies. Yankovic made two that sold a million just because and the Blue Skirt Waltz. He is the Babe Ruth of the polka, a legendary figure who will be talked about long after he is gone. Now, I wanted to mention a couple of other things before I get on to the value of this record. This album is new recordings. Well, new for 1985. Some of his hits that he had been recording for decades. And you can tell he has a definite maturity in his voice. You can also tell the maturity of the rest of the band. So let me introduce them to you. Playing along with Frank is, of course, Joey Miskalin, who also shared vocals. Dennis Sams, Larry Sintik, Dave Wolnick, Ron Sluga, and Bob Yankovic. Joining Frank and Joey on vocals are Rosie kravis Kiba, Doris kravis Hawk, and Marty king Kukovic. While this album was recorded, engineered, and mixed at various Northeast Ohio facilities from Youngstown to Cleveland, it was mastered at Suma Recording Studios. Now, those studios are only about three miles from where I grew up in Painesville, and I do believe it still functions uh, in some way today. How about that for coming in close to a lot of stories to a polka album? Now let's see what prices this record is being sold at on Discogs.com. The lowest at $7.99, the highest only a penny more, which made the median $8. It was last sold October 31st, 2021. Amazon had a copy for $9.99, and I found them from $8 to $20 on eBay, except for one collector who said he was selling a mint condition copy, and he wanted $70.95. Now, my dad's record is in good condition, still has the original sleeve, so that helps. Not much hiss after the first few moments after the initial needle sleeve, the needle drop. It's still, like I said, in its original paper sleeve. The cover itself is in very good condition. Um, not even my dad's um, tag is, it's, I, I didn't, he didn't put it on the front, he put it on the back for once, his uh, address label. So I'm going to value my dad's record at $4. Okay, let's hear one of those million-selling songs. I dream of that night with you, lady, when first we met. We dance in a world of blue, how can my heart Skies and blue were your eyes, just like the blue skirt you wore. Come back, blue lady, come back. Don't be blue anymore. I wandered alone one night When I heard 
an orchestra play I met you where lights were bright And people were carefree and gay You were the beautiful lady in blue I was in heaven just waltzing with you You filled me with strange delight And softly you stole away I dream of that night with you Lady, when first we met We dance in a world of blue How can my heart forget Blue were the skies and blue were your eyes Just like the blue skirt you wore Blue Skirt Waltz. Originally written by Vaclav Blaha, although Rudolf Antonin Dvorsky's name came up as well, lyrics were written by Mitchell Parrish. Yankovic was the first one to record this song, and that was in 1949. It was also one of the first songs my grandmother tried to teach me on the organ. Yes, my dad's mom and one of her many sisters taught piano and organ for many years. Time now to learn about this episode's featured artist. This from the New York Times obituary the day after he died on October 14th, 1998. Remember, this is the time, so I'll be saying Mr. a lot. Frank Yankovic, the hard-working singer and accordionist who was crowned the Polka King at a Polka contest in Milwaukee in 1948 and was known by that title through five subsequent decades of performing and recording, died yesterday at his home in Newport, Ritchie, Florida. He was 83. Although Mr. Yankovic moved to Florida in the late 1980s, the polka belt, his hometown Cleveland, and the mid-Atlantic and upper Midwestern states, was his territory. Until 1994, when he retired after 65 years on the road, he played Champagne Taste in a Beer Bankroll, Happy Mountaineer, My Wife's Chirping Voice Polka, and In Heaven There Is No Beer in up to 300 shows a year. The modern polka evolved from a bohemian dance dating from the 1830s. After the great wave of Polish immigration to the United States in the early 20th century, different styles of the two-beat dance music emerged, mainly the East Coast Chicago and Cleveland Slovenian. Mr. Yankovic became the premier figure in the Slovenian style, and though he played, still played songs derived from traditional Eastern European folk melodies, he updated the umpa, shedding the heavy brass that defined older polka bands in favor of a banjo, a saxophone, and an electric organ. Mr. Yankovic's parents were Slovenians who had come to the United States in 1903 and met in a lumber camp in Davis, West Virginia. Mr. Yankovic was born July 15, 1915 in Davis, but when his father ran afoul of the local authorities with his bootlegging business, the family relocated to the Slovenian-Italian section of Cleveland called Collinwood, where Mr. Yankovic stayed through his young adult life. By the way... Collinwood is where my father was born and lived for a while. Impressed by the accordion playing of one of his father's boarders, Mr. Yankovic took lessons from him starting at age nine. Within a few years, he had mastered the button accordion and started supplementing the family income with his playing. His exposure on a local Slovenian radio program led to a great led to greater renown, and his band, the Slovenian Folk, Folk Orchestra, cut two records that became local hits. After serving in World War II, in which he fought in the Battle of the Bulge, Frank Yankovic and his band The Yanks did Just Because for Columbia Records. Since the war, polka and country music have shared audiences as the twin musics of America's working-class steel country. In later years, Mr. Yankovic would record with Chet Atkins, Riders in the Sky, and Cowboy Jack Clement. Just Because was a crossover hit, and the first polka record to sell more than a million copies. The following year, Mr. Yankovic had almost as great a success with Blue Skirt Waltz. It was a time of obsession with ethnic music in the United States, especially Spanish and Cuban. But even Mr. Yankovic was mainstreamed. He went to Hollywood, where he filmed movie shorts, played at the Aragon Ballroom, and made records backing artists like Doris Day. 
I want to see how far the polka really can go, he told Time Magazine in 1950. There's no reason why polkas shouldn't be just as popular as rumbas. In the early 1960s, Mr. Yankovic found his greatest sideman, the accordionist Joey Miskelin, who would serve the five-man band both as, as accordionist while Mr. Yankovic sang and record producer to the end. In recent years, Mr. Yankovic made novelty records with the parodist Weird Al Yankovic, whom he believed may have been a distant relative, the author and singer Kinky Friedman, and the actor Drew Carey. In 1986, the first year the polka became a category, he won a Grammy Award for the album you are listening to right now. Since then, he has been nominated for three more. Mr. Yankovic's retirement was widely reported in 1994, but this was to be a repeated announcement, each one with a party to celebrate it. His last performance was 15 months ago in Ohio. Mr. Yankovic is survived by his wife, Ida, of Newport Ritchie, Florida, and nine children. Wow, what a life. So now, let's hear that first big polka hit. <laughs> something that nobody else has got you cause me to spend all my money you laugh and call me old Santa Claus I'm telling you baby I'm through with you just because just because Something that nobody else has got You cause me to spend all my money You laugh and call me old Santa Claus I'm telling you, baby, I'm through with you Just because, just because Just Because, written by Joe Shelton, Sidney Robin, and Bob Shelton. Okay, time now for this episode's interesting side note. Now, my interesting side notes aren't always about the music or the featured artist. This one happens to be one of my favorite stories from a great memory of Paul Wilcox during one of those Sunday evening polka nightcap shows. Now, this was early in my career. In fact, the very first radio station I worked for. And Paul would come into the station uh, about a half an hour before the show started, plop down his music. We would chat for a little bit, sometimes about the show, sometimes just about things in general. One day he walked in and I happened to be on the phone with one of my high school buddies who had moved to Texas. And I was trying to make plans to drive down there later that summer. But I was telling Chris that I just couldn't make it because I couldn't afford new tires for my car in order to make that trip safe enough to take. Well, after I hung up, Paul said, really? You need new tires to go see a couple of your high school buddies in Texas? Well, I can help you with that. Handed me his business card and told me to go to a tire shop just a couple of blocks from the radio station the following day. 
Well, sure enough, I pull in there, a little skeptical, hand them my card, and poof, I was treated almost like the Poker King himself. Tell you what, these guys were right on it. As soon as they saw that card, they made sure I had the right tires. I was in and out, probably couldn't have been more than 15 or 20 minutes, and I didn't have to pay a dime. Now, Unfortunately, because I had three jobs and I couldn't coordinate the times off with those three jobs uh, to be able to drive down to Texas, I wasn't able to make that trip. And in fact, it was a couple of decades before I was able to see my high school buddy when uh, he came down to San Diego to see me while I was on a trip. And I am still friends with Kurt, the other uh, guy who was in Texas. In fact, um, visited him a couple times in D.C., the last time just a couple of weeks ago. Now, I will always be grateful and remember Paul's generosity. In fact, I even mentioned it to him when I ran into him several years later at the Ohio State Fair I was covering for the radio station I was working for at the time. Paul Wilcox and everybody else that I ever met in the polka music industry were always such great people. And now, two more for the road. <laughs> I'm so glad you made it, cause we were so God bless it poor. He still works the coal mines outside of Pittsburgh, been there for almost ten years. But he hit the skits when his wife took the kids, and is drowning his sorrows in beer. I wrote him a beer drinking song, one we can all sing along. For all of the good times, the bad and the sad times, a blue ribbon beer drinking song. I wrote a beer drinking song, one we 
can all sing along For all of the good times, the bad and the sad times A blue ribbon beer drinking song Now my buddy Tony, still driving semis Works hard for the money he makes his only friends are the all-night DJs and the box of his crying time tapes. Then there's his daddy down at the truck stop, been there since they were 16. The only thing different 40 years later is the hip size of old daddy jeans. I wrote him a beer drinking song, one we can all sing along. For all of the good times, the bad and the sad times, a blue ribbon beer drinking song. I wrote him a beer drinking song, one we can all sing along. For all of the good times, the blue ribbon beer drinking song. One we can all sing along For all of the good times, the bad and the sad times A blue ribbon beer drink Everybody! I wrote a beer drinking song One we can all sing along For all of the good times, the bad and the sad times A blue ribbon beer drinking song One more time, everybody sing! I a beer drinking song one we can all sing along For all of the good times, the bad and the sad times A blue ribbon beer drinking song That was the Beer Drinking Song, written by Lacey J. Dalton and David Wood. Before that, we heard the ever-popular Beer Barrel Polka, a song we played from the stands in the Kent State Marching Band. And we also would play one chorus and sing one chorus of In Heaven There Is No Beer, but that one's not on this record. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. In fact, I had more fun than I actually thought I would with a polka episode. As you can see, I didn't get my wish not to have to play polka music at any of the stations I worked for. But as you can also see, playing that music worked out pretty well for me. And if you're trying to figure out the whole 70 years of hits from the title of this album, well, it was recorded to celebrate Frank's 70th birthday. Plus, I couldn't resist playing seven songs with all these sevens in this episode. I think I'm going to go buy a lottery ticket today. So finally, some great accordion work in this intro. Since the last time I saw you, my dear Don't you remember when I was in my surrender I said I'll always love you endlessly Hey little sweetheart, so how you doing now? I thought without me you probably would drown I guess I was wrong and poor dad it's so long Take care my darling, I hope to see you round I'll never ever get it Our love can be an error instantly regretted You showed me love, you gave me understanding Living without you is gonna leave me shredded Hey little sweetheart, so how you doing now? I thought without me you probably would drown I guess I was wrong and poor that it's so long Take care my darling, I hope to see you round
It's been a long and lonely, lonely year Since the last time I saw you, my dear Don't you remember when I was in my surrender I said I'll always love you endlessly I said I'll always love you endlessly I said I'll always love you endlessly Corrida number one, Serenata. There's that Latin influence even in polka. It was written by Carlos Rosas. And there you have selections from the man who helped make the two-step popular from coast to coast. So thanks for tuning in to Volume 70, Seven Decades of the Polka King, however you did. If you want more information about this show, head over to spinningmydadsvinyl.com. I'll be back next week with all my skips, scratches, and pops for Volume 71. This is Sinatra for Mother's Day. Until then, go with the flow, my friends.